Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video. It's been quite a while. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on with my life. Um, moved into this new apartment. So bear with me guys with any poor lighting or auto quality with echo, noise in the background, things like that. Moved into a new apartment and so still trying to get settled in, things like that. So it's been quite a long time since I've done a video on the next bit Robin and something very exciting that I just found out today is that there are Android Oreo based ROMs now officially out for the next bit Robin. And what we have here is Android Oreo running on our next bit Robin. And we go down to system, go down to about phone. This is running Lineage OS 15.1 unofficially, Android version 8.1. March security patch there. And if we go here, we can see our Easter egg. So this is fantastic. This phone came out uh, shortly around the time of the Nexus 5X. Of course, as you know, Razer bought out uh, Nextbit. Um, their basically workforce and design, everything else transferred over to the Razer phone. And um, basically they stopped supporting with and warranty software updates. And now it is up to the developer community to uh, bring and continue updating this phone, which we have now finally. It was unsure if Oreo was actually going to come to this, but um, it is great to see that it is here. If we go into display, we get all the Lineage OS um, options, such as the styling for themes, um, dark, uh, light mode, color, uh, changing the color of the accent, things like that. Um, you got all of your, your quick toggles. But not um, I am uh, this is the the pixel launcher um, I do have root access just fine no problem as you can see version 16 um, not uh, not too much else going on there's no custom kernels or anything else at this point in time um, add away as you can see there as well I am using kernel auditor um, initial setup and um, boot of the phone it just the phone is really sluggish and it still is from time to time um, there's still definitely some stuff that needs to be worked out um, with future updates on this um, but I have gone ahead and I've noticed that actually helped quite a bit um, I turned on touch boost for one of the cores that has improved the the sensitivity um, when scrolling things like that um, also changing the Hot plug, I said I forget. I think I'd set this to one, so that way one of the uh, CPU, one of the cores was always on. But other than that, um, it's been fairly good. Um, to be honest, I was running a Paranoid Android prior to this, um, so I wanted to give this a try. There are other ROMs. Uh, there are, uh, let's see, Lineage, obviously. There is CR Droid. Um, there is AICP. Um, and a couple others as well. Um, so I'll leave the link down to the thread where you can access all of these and give a try it out yourself. Flashed with TWRP, so you will also want to make sure that your uh, customer recovery is up to date um, with the latest. I'll link the link down as well to update that. Um, I've done a video on how to update your TWRP recovery also. So we can see here there's actually a new uh, thread section, original uh, Android development, and then there's this new Robin Android development section. So we can see here AICP, there's Lineage OS, um, CR Droid, AOS IP, a few others, and, uh, Xenon HD, and then of course you still have your, your NuGet based ROMs as well. Um, you don't have to do anything special, just make sure your cut recovery is up to date. Um, then you're able to just uh, clean wipe or clean uh, clean flash the ROM over and, and it's fine. You don't have to worry about any weird uh, AB partitions, anything like that. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm pleased so far, um, considering this is uh, maybe going to be the third update to the, to the ROM. Um, I haven't been obviously using it as a daily driver, but um, this is definitely nice to play around, especially if you have a, a next bit Robin laying around like I do. Um, I'm always going to have this, this baby here. Um, fingerprint scanner works actually uh, surprisingly well. 
Um, there's still the delayed camera. Um, it was working when I first flashed, but now it's not. Um, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, so I guess we'll see. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Are you going to try one of these uh, Oreo-based ROMs? Um, I've done tons of guides um, on the next bit, so if you guys ever need to know about how to unlock the bootloader, how to flash anything, check out my videos. Um, I guide you all through that, provide the proper uh, information and uh, everything else needed. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I always uh, do my best to try to answer any questions and help you all out. That's what I'm here for. Thank you so much to the developers on XDA that have been able to bring Oreo. Um, no thanks to Razer in dropping complete software support. Um, there was supposed to be an update uh, over like a year ago about them improving the battery life using the same type of cloud storage, learning behavior type stuff to improve battery life. Um, that never came about and then they just dropped the ball. So unfortunate, but that's what happens. Thumbs up if you like that Oreo is now on the next bit Robin. Thank you all for being patient and following and supporting my channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.